Cancer is a disease that's being diagnosed in more than 20 million people every year. Its cost is estimated at $240 billion. Radiation therapy is one of the three modalities used against cancer, together with surgery and medication. It's been used for more than a century, and with 13,000 X-ray machines in the world, it's treating up to two-thirds of the cancer cases in the United States. So X-rays are very effective. However, they lead to significant side effects, such as dermatitis, skin burn, mucositis, or secondary malignancies. This is because the entire X-ray beam passes through the body, damaging all the tissue along the path. However, proton therapy works differently. It kills tumours in the same way as X-rays, but it deposits most radiation at the tumour site such that up to 60% of healthy tissues are not damaged. This well-proven technology, which has treated more than 140,000 patients to date since the mid-1950s, has been in the spotlight and highlighted as the radiotherapy choice for cancer treatment. The benefits of proton therapy have also been illustrated through scientific publications, whose numbers have increased exponentially. However, and despite the clinical benefits of proton therapy, it's available to patients in only 70 centres around the world, and it represents a tiny proportion of radiation therapy. This is because the current proton therapy accelerators are very cumbersome and require huge and expensive bunkers. The time needed for building these facilities and their cost, which can easily be above $100 million, is largely explained by the fact that all current accelerators accelerate protons in a circular fashion. To protect from the stray radiation caused by absorbers and to support rotating gantries weighing up to 150 tons, thick shielding walls and structures are required which can often only be fitted in large greenfield sites outside of city centres. As a result, the treatment cost is prohibitive, and only a minority of patients have the opportunity to be treated with proton therapy. With more than 30 years of work at CERN, the largest physics lab in the world, Advanced Oncotherapy and its Swiss subsidiary Adam have designed the first proton therapy system that addresses the current technical and financial issues associated with legacy systems. Light integrates a series of innovative linear accelerating modules. The accelerator is fully integrated with the state-of-the-art medical equipment on the market assembled by its partner P-Cure, and it uses the latest software technologies to offer a seamless clinical interface. Light has been designed to maximize the benefits of linear acceleration and offer the best medical outcome for patients. And for the first time ever, proton therapy systems can be installed in the heart of cities, such as Harley Street, at a significantly lower cost and with much less space needed. Because light is modular, each key component can be manufactured by well-established companies such as Toshiba, VDL, a spin-off from Philips, Scandinova and many others. As such, light is ideally suited for high volume production and rapid installation. The system is expected to be fully assembled at STFC, a UK governmental organisation focused on science and engineering research with the ambition to deliver eight machines a year in this initial phase. With its game-changing light system and the support of its key stakeholders, Advanced Oncotherapy is ideally placed to provide patients a wide access to proton therapy at a cost significantly below current levels.